Hello, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your boy Craven Hop Five. Woo! And today, guys, we're gonna be going over some Sweet Sixteen Bow rankings. So, first of all, before we get into this video, I do unfortunately have some unfortunate news as Craven's Cave series. Um, I don't know honestly if I'm gonna continue or not because I ended up dying during the middle of a recording, and my bed is gone. Like, actually, it's not gone, but like. It's one of like those things where um like you know like your home bed was missing or obstructed. It's one of those and it's not gone, but like it's just like one of those things where like you're just annoyed about it. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't know because I was trying to go back to an earlier snapshot of before the uh the caves update. Because listen, I hate the new caves update, just saying. And um yeah, that happened. So uh yeah. So yeah. Uh, it'll probably still continue, but I'm just going to lose all my stuff, which was unfortunate. Anyway, guys, here is some uh, Sweet 16 Power Rankings. Um, by the way, if I look over here, I'm just going to look at the teams that are um, are still in the Sweet 16 and also their seeding line. First of all, number 16. Yeah, it, it's not a brainer. It's not a uh, no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. It's NC State. But, uh, yeah, this... This is a, it's a, they're on a current really good run. Um, they're like, set, they're like, they've won like seven games in like 10 days, which is really good for them. Like, but unfortunately, uh, actually no, we're going to make predictions at the end, but, uh, I don't know if they got the pieces to beat Marquette. They're going to have to get a great game out of DJ Burns is what I'll say. And, uh, DJ Horn. But if they can do that, I think they can win. Now, number 15, um, I can either go with San Diego State or I can go with UConn or I can go with uh, Gonzaga. I'm definitely going to go with San Diego State. Uh, the Aztecs have been another five seed that, have, again, like they've been like – they like the first round against UAB, they were losing, I'm pretty sure. And then like they turn it on, is what I'll say, for the last like six minutes, winning by five. But then they won, um, and then they won against Yale, who beat Auburn, which is where everyone expected San Diego State to go out. They play Connecticut. Um, I'll give, obviously, my prediction for that. 14 is going to be the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Um, Gonzaga has been a very good team, I'll say this, this year. Unfortunately, honestly, I think a lot of us felt really dumb we picked uh, McNeese State to win. Yeah, that was not good. I, I don't feel good right there about that one. Number 13, let's see who we got. We got either um, Duke, Alabama. Oh, sorry. I, I'm stupid. Uh, number 15 is actually going to be Clemson. I forgot about Clemson. Uh, they're definitely number 15. So move um, San Diego State to 14 and Gonzaga to 13. Clemson, I'll say for now, has been a surprise. I actually had them go on the Sweet 16 in my bracket. Nobody did, but I did, and I'm so happy I did um, because they beat Baylor. Now, number 12, I'm going to go with Alabama. Um, Alabama has a really good offense. Like, we all know this. But, unfortunately, for the Crimson Tide, I don't know if they can get past um, – I'm not sure if they're going to get past uh, North Carolina. And uh, their defense has been terrible this year. They just – I feel like they get dominated on the rebounds, and you can also post them up. Is that a lot? So there's my opinion on Bama. Number 11, I do have Duke. Um, Duke had a rough first-round game versus Marquette. Uh, sorry, no, 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 sorry, not Marquette. Vermont. Uh, now, the score doesn't seem like that, but in the final, like, five minutes of the game, Duke completely just turned it on, um, which is great for them. And they finally ended up beating a – like, they're in the Sweet 16 after losing Tennessee last year, um, which is obviously – there's my – go off, baby. We'll talk We'll talk about the balls later in this video. But um, I they have a potential, I think, to pull off this upset versus Houston. And we'll give – again, we'll give again my predictions after. Um, so now we get on to the tough ones. Number uh, 11, we're going to have Creighton. Got a good offense. 
Uh, they play Tennessee this Saturday. They play Tennessee on Friday. It's going to be a great matchup is what I'll say. Um, going to be a great matchup. I don't know who's going to win. I'm obviously, obviously, you guys obviously already know, obviously, who I'm rooting for. Uh, but I'm just hoping that we can pull off maybe an Elite Eight appearance, our second Elite appearance, and maybe our first Final Four in our program history. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it can happen. Uh, number um, nine, I have Illinois. I love the Fighting Illini. Uh, I actually have been going to the national championship, actually, in one of my brackets. Um, I love Terrence Shannon. I love uh, Marcus Damask. I love all their players. So, But Terrence Shannon Jr. is definitely going to be their X factor during this tournament. So, he's going to have to ball out. Number eight, we're going to go with Marquette. And this is solely just based on their first two rounds. I don't think they've looked impressive. But Tyler Kolick and that Jones guy are really good. And I think they're going – and I, I'm not I'm not going to say it because, remember, we're making predictions after. Not right now. Number seven, I have Iowa State. Now, again, Iowa State could have easily been a one seed. But I just feel like in one of their games, their offense will, will have a bad shooting game. And they've just been destined for that now for a while. But their defense is amazing. My God, that defense is amazing. Second in the league, only behind a team we're going to talk about later. And now I'm going to – I, I wanted to put them as the top two seed. Um, and honestly, I easily could have so you put them at the top two seed. But, yes, I have Tennessee as uh, we play tomorrow. As uh, we play tomorrow night, and it's going to be really exciting because, guys, listen, I'm extremely nervous as a Vols fan myself. Listen, I want to just make – if we make the Elite Eight, honest with you, after that, I mean, I'm not going to care much because at that point, that's a very successful season. If you make the Elite Eight, honest with you, at that point, that's very successful. We've had a very successful season. Making it our second lead day ever, that is impressive. The problem is we are like one and nine in a lead eight games. Dalton Kinnett, one of the best players in college basketball. I know some people say he's the best. No, it's still Zach Eady for me. And you, you could put Kinnett as the quote-unquote best player in college basketball because he's probably the most skilled, but Eady is just better in mostly in every category. I think tennis. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a tough matchup. Honestly, Easy could have been number one, but that's just because first of all, their second round matchup against Texas, a team that did not though was Arizona, who I have number five. In our rankings. Arizona is an absolutely amazing two seed. I think they're gonna easily win this weekend. Um, I think they're playing Clemson. I'm sure, they're. The, I love Caleb Love. I love Omar Ballo. I love all their players. I love Kel Larson. Um. They got a great college basketball team in Arizona, and I love it. Um, so that's that's my thing right there. And uh, number four, I have the Houston Cougars. And you're probably wondering why in the world would you have Houston at number four? Listen, look at me right now. I don't trust them. There you go. There's my reason. I don't trust the Houston Cougars. Not on defense. No, 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 not on defense. Their offense has struggled sometimes this year. And I'm just worried about that offense sometimes. But I think they will. I, uh, I, I hate picking against them. But I don't I don't know what I'm going to do with that matchup, honestly. Um. Number three, so the rest of the one seeds we got are UConn, North Carolina, and Purdue. Number three is North Carolina. I'm go I I hate to do it because they're my favorite to win the national championship this year. I have them winning in a bracket, but this is my problem with North Carolina. I don't know how good they are. Def the their defense might let them down in a game, or their shooting actually might just let them down in one game. And I don't know if they're going to be able to climb back. It's just one thing. And I also don't think they played a great second round against Michigan State. That's North Carolina's problem. 
If they play like that against like against Alabama, yeah, no shot they're coming back. They're they're lucky it was Michigan State. Michigan State was having was having a down year, but now the top two, and yeah, I, I it, it's kind of obvious who's number two. That's obviously going to be the Purdue Boilermakers. Um, yeah, Purdue is is amazing. Zach Eadie's the best player in the country. And by the way, do not buy sleep on this team. There last year they had freshmen and sophomores playing guards. Obviously, they obviously last year losing to FDU, who was 16 seed, one of the biggest upsets, and in my opinion, the biggest upset in college basketball history in March Madness. I don't think it's the biggest upset in college basketball history in like the season, but um, this is what I'll say. Um, I think. Purdue, I think, uh, listen, as a Tennessee fan, we probably have to play Purdue in the Elite Eight if we do win. And that's been the matchup that everyone's going to key in on. And I'm so scared, dude, to play Zach Eadie. We've already played him once this year, and we lost. And obviously, the number one team still in the tournament. I mean, come on. You're not going to have UConn at number one. Like, UConn is one of the prettiest offenses I have ever seen. Tristan Newton. Um, my favorite player is Donovan Klingon. That's what I'll say. He bought for my favorite. I love every single one of their players. I love Dan Hurley and his offense. Yeah, honestly, I don't know how they would don't win another national championship. Time for some predictions officially. So, first game, UConn, San Diego State. Yeah, no brainer. I got UConn moving on to the Elite Eight. Illinois, Iowa State, I'm going to go with the Fighting Illini. I think this one is really close, though, like really close. And then we got North Carolina, Alabama. The only way North Carolina re reason that Alabama is winning this game is they somehow shoot amazing, and they also get in a shootout with Carolina. Unfortunately, though, for them, I don't think that's going to happen. North Carolina is going to win this. I'm not going to give score predictions because um, those are way too hard to do. Uh, next up, this one's tough. I, I hate this one so much. Actually, no, wait, sorry, sorry. No, wait, what am I saying? No, this one's easy. Arizona versus Clemson. Clemson, you've had a good run, but it comes to an end. Arizona's going to win. Um, Houston and Duke, this is my first upset. I actually have the Duke Blue Devils knocking out the Houston Cougars. Um, Houston, it's no offense, it's 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 nothing. It's just how Duke is playing. Jared McCain, I think, goes off for like twenty five or something like that. I think King Proctor, Kyle Filipowski, they both are like fifteen or something, and Duke wins. Now another now yeah, this one's the most obvious one by far. Unfortunately for NC State fans, yeah, it, it, it's over. Yeah, I'm sorry, your run's over. Marquette's easily gonna win this game. Yeah, honestly, they're going to probably win by 15-plus. Purdue and Gonzaga, I hate this one because, like, uh, Mark Few has been doubted, like, all week, and I feel like he would just, like, come, like, into, like, into Detroit and dominate. Like, I just feel like it. But I'm going to go Purdue, but very, very, very close. Like, I mean, within five points. And then finally, Creighton against Tennessee. Like, this is the thing. It depends this right now. How good is Tennessee going to shoot? I think we've bounced back. I think Tennessee is going to win this game. I, I, I'm honestly saying 10 plus. I'm actually going to say 10 plus this game. Anyway, guys, that is officially my Sweet 16 predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. Make sure you're not missing any any videos by me. Otherwise, otherwise you guys, you guys are the best. God bless, and I'll see you all later. Bye.